BSV versus XRP. Who's going to win? I think they're both going to the stratosphere. What's happening, guys? Hope you're having an amazing day. Um, everything's going to the stratosphere. <laughs> it's absolutely remarkable. Uh, the Federal Reserve and central banks across the world are determined to print loads and loads and loads of money and the effect on the crypto markets is everything's about to go to the stratosphere we've got xrp at one dollar uh, 14 on the weekly going absolutely parabolic absolutely crazy crazy for everyone that's holding xrp fucking crazy man uh one dollar 14 and it was up at one dollar 25 congratulations for everyone that's been holding xrp this whole time um that's crazy it could go to <laughs> let's see where this could go my man Could go to a dollar ninety four or higher. I'm calling it could go higher. Uh, you know Donald Trump's in now. Everyone's fucking excited because Donald Trump's in, and uh, there's going to be no crypto regulations and stuff. And XRP's got regulatory clarity, so it's finally going to the stratosphere. Congratulations. It's so easy to see all the price gains and get excited, but this is just the beginning. You know, don't get excited yet. This is just the start. Get excited when it's in the alt profit zone. That's when you want to be shilling it. That's when you want to be taking profits and shilling it at the same time. Saying it's going to the moon. All the while, you know, it's in the alt profit zone on the BTC dominance. So how did I make this alt profit zone? You just need to go to when it double topped and there's a zone where the BTC dominance got to. And you'll know that's a good place to take profits. And you might even want to pull the trigger a little bit early and make sure that you definitely get out with something because it's going to be absolutely you know parabola what would make the average mind just head spin but you know you've probably seen it before you've been there before you were here this last bull run so you know what it's going to get like and hopefully you're positioned in the right places before this parabola happens. And you can walk away with a few hundred thousand or a few million. Easy. So this bull run, we're going to see BSV do amazing numbers. And potentially even flip BTC. So that could chuck all this profit zone out the window. If BTC dominance just goes to zero, that will leave all these other cryptos to take its place. Some of them going to the stratosphere. And I've always said that they're going to make BTC fall and XRP is going to be the solution. The centralized solution. They're not going to want to proceed with BSV. They're going to want to proceed with XRP because they can own 50% of the supply in one wallet and god knows how much of the rest of the supply the banks own and sinister entities own it's just been dished out for free not like bsv it's a war between good and evil that's why i'm positioned on both sides bsv versus xrp who's gonna win i think they're both going to the stratosphere We've got BSV on the retracement at $65. Down from $70. It's going much, much higher. Could pump 
to $93. I think it could pump even higher. I think it could pump all the way to $180 on the next breakout. And that would be absolutely sinister for BTC. And why would it be so sinister for BTC? Why does BTC pump only when BSV pumps? Why is it like they just pump BTC to cover up the fact that BSV is pumping? BSV is thousands of times cheaper than BTC, yet it's only 1.9% more profitable to mine on the BTC blockchain. Why is BSV mining so profitable for the miners? It's because they're ramping up the transactions. The average BSV transaction volume has been absolutely skyrocketing recently and that's why it's closer to mining on the BTC chain. Now they could just ramp it up all the way and destroy BTC right now. But someone's not doing that. Craig Wright's not doing that. Whoever's behind Terranode, whoever's ramping up these transactions isn't doing that. They're just keeping it right on the edge. It's like they're in a boxing match against each other. And one of them's just so powerful that they don't even care. BSV is so powerful that it doesn't even care. It's just throwing jabs and moving around with speed. It doesn't even care about the opponent. And BTC, well, it's got its own weapons in its arsenal as well. It's got tether. They can just print as much tether as they want and pump it into BTC and pump it into meme coins and pump it into ISO scams. So that's why I think it's good to have some diversity in your portfolio as well. Maybe chuck some money into these ISO scams. Maybe chuck some money into these meme coins. Because you never know. It could blast off and then you can swap it for more BSV. Or more ISO scams. You could just understand the what we're up against. And even invest in some of these ISO scams. I'm still holding my XRP. And I'm going to keep holding my XRP because... It just makes sense. They're clearly trying to discredit Bitcoin by creating this BTC, making it not work, labeling it as Bitcoin, beta test coin, people have called it within the XRP community. And I think it's true. I think it could be a sacrificial lamb to make the space look bad. And XR, if, if BTC goes down, XRP could short-term lose a lot of value fast. But once the dust settles, I think the phoenix would rise from the ashes. And it would go absolutely parabolic to, you know, over $2, $3, $4. Who knows how high XRP could go. And I'm not holding enough of this to even take profits on this this is more of like a perma hold i'm just gonna perma hold and if it ever comes true that it's used for real world asset tokenization or they have the stock market tokenized on xrp or they have the bond market tokenized on xrp or at least some of it or it's used to replace swift with all these cross-border transactions and Ripple replacing Swift and Brad Garlinghouse has said he already says that's happening um, I think XRP could be the solution for when BTC goes down or when they get BTC out of the picture or maybe they'll even just keep BTC chugging along but with BSV looking so powerful and able to just turn up its transactions whenever it wants and compete with BSV, despite the price differ difference being so great, I just think if any real money ever moved into BSV, it would just flip BTC so fast because all the mining companies would move over and start mining BSV. So, although I think you could get 5x from these prices in XRP when BTC goes down, 
I think the real returns will be made in BSV, which will, like, instead of doing 4x, it will probably do a 10x or a 20x or a 100x. But long term, I think that's what's going to happen with XRP as well, especially if it's used as a cross border asset for for massive um, payments working with these banks and I think Ripple has their foot in the door with the banks more than Enchain does I think they'll still work with Enchain I think they'll still have tokenized assets on BSV but I think they'll also do it on XRP and I think they'll prefer XRP and shell XRP more just because they're able to own a greater percentage of the supply of XRP. And I think they're also going to start shilling XLM and other X assets. Uh, 